Praise the Lord, Servant House. This is Minister JR. Happy Saturday, April the 30th, and I hope you're ready for the word that God has for you today. It comes from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5, a very familiar text. It says, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. Me and my family, we love having movie night and watching movies. On one particular day, I remember I was watching a movie with my son, and I'd actually already seen this movie before, and so I knew what was going to happen. But my son hadn't seen it, and he kept asking me, hey, well, well, what's getting ready to happen now? Well, well, why are they doing this? Well, why is this going on now? And he's so anxious in watching a movie because he simply doesn't know what's getting ready to happen, but I do. And I sat there, and I was calm, and I just kept saying, just keep watching the movie. Just keep seeing what's going to happen. The difference was I knew the start to the finish of the movie, but he didn't and he was anxious while watching it. Likewise in life, the Bible declares in Isaiah, I believe it's chapter 46, verse 10, God says that he declares the end from the beginning. So God knows your start, God knows your finish, and he knows everything in between. God has the full picture of your life. So everything he asks you to do today, he already knows how it connects to your tomorrow, to your next month, even to your next year. So even when he asks you to do something today that doesn't make sense to you today, well, that's because you only have a partial view. You have today's view of what's going on in your life. God has the full view. He has the big picture. And so it's easier to trust in the Lord and not lean on your own understanding when you can trust that God has your big picture in mind. So what am I asking you? I'm asking you to trust God today. I'm asking you to do the very thing that he asked you to do and not lean on your own understanding. Simply put, God knows how what he's asking you to do today, it affects your life next year and the year after that and the year after that. Just trust in the Lord and don't lean on your own understanding and you'll walk in the blessing that God has for you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for the reminder that we ought to trust in you, showing us that you have our full picture in view, how you know everything going on in our life and how we ought to stay committed to your word. God, God is and help us to continue to trust in you so we can walk in all you have for us in Christ's name. Saints, I pray that God blesses you, God keeps you, and he makes his face shine upon you. And until next time, bless his name.